I'm glad you mentioned about being shot by cops because you cannot compare this, and I'm sick of people comparing. You can't compare what happened this summer to what happened at the Capitol. It's two different things. One was built on people, on racial justice, on criminal justice, right? No way. We got you. Not a chance. Not this time. It never happened. Wrong, Don Lamont. You're a liar. But let's do a quick general recap. Trevon Martin is shot and killed by a Hispanic neighborhood watchman after he is followed and was then attacked by Martin. The media insists he's actually white in order to incite racial tensions. What other explanation is there? The ensuing trial ended with Zimmerman being acquitted due in part to the testimony from Trevon's friend who was on the phone with him when it all went down. They want you to repeat your answer when you said what you asked him what I had asked him how the man looked like. He looked like a creepy ass cracker. Okay. Let me make sure we got that creepy ass cracker. cracker. Yeah. What did you say to him? Or what did he say to you after that? So, he, kept, he told me the man was looking at him. So I had to think it might have been a rapist. Saying, you don't know area, it might have been a rapist. Okay. He, Mr. Trayvon Martin, told you stop playing with him like that? Like, yeah. stop joking like that? Yeah. Okay. And then what happened next? I told him, okay, then why he keep looking at you? So. And thus, BLM was formed. According to the founders, who are also trained Marxists that believed in factless, critical race conspiracy theories that include the need to, quote, destroy the nuclear family. What does any of this have to do with police brutality? I have no idea! Before we continue, I do have to ask you for 30 seconds of your time to tell you about this special offer from healthwithdronetech.com. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. As an added bonus, Ageless Multi Collagen is non GMO and there's zero artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, gluten, or antibiotics. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. I'm glad you mentioned about being shot by cops because you cannot compare this, and I'm sick of people comparing, you can't compare what happened this summer to what happened at the Capitol. It's two different things. One was built on people, on racial justice, on criminal justice, right? To this day, Trevon is included in these purposely vague and broad claims of police brutality, supposedly exclusively targeting black Americans. And let me just say for a second that if I believed for a second that it was true, then I'd be standing side by side with BLM. Then Michael Brown is shot and killed by police. The media again jumps the gun, condemns the police actions, and helps to perpetuate the conspiracy theory that Brown had his hands up when he was shot. Hence, hands up, don't shoot. It's a rallying call that's leading to riots to this day. Since then, the media has pretty much exclusively only reported on black Americans, never the white ones, who were shot by police. Always broadly judging any police shooting as an act of racist murder. My point is, there's all these details and factors at play here, so broadly judging all riots by left-wing extremists as somehow justified is lazy, transparently partisan, and and extremely dangerous to the unity of this country. On uh, on reform, on police not beating up or not uh, treat or, or police treating um, people of color differently than they do whites. Okay? It's fiction. No, not okay. I'm actually against police brutality, and I think that there does need to be some improvements in training and reform across the board, but come on. White people aren't beat by police. Unarmed white people aren't shot by police. Of course they are. But their response to you would be that black Americans are shot and beat by police at higher rates. There may be some truth to that, but to simply say racism ignores a lot of other factors involved. For one, how much more likely are black Americans to fight police? police when they're being lawfully arrested. How much more likely are black Americans to be involved in violent crime and murder? And when it comes to these black Americans, where in the country are they located? Because I don't think this is something that's happening across the country. It's happening in cities where there's high rates of gang violence. All questions that might lead to different, less divisive explanations. Ignoring all of this when it happens to white Americans is a big part of being able to make this ridiculous rationalization for your glaringly obvious double standards and partisanship. Even even if it's all true that black Americans are basically being hunted down by the modern KKK, 
What in the world does that have to do with going out and burning down businesses, most of which are black businesses? Riots are wrong. They're bad no matter who does it. Lamont and Fredo here think that we already forgot about their backpedaling after the riots were shown to be hurting Democrats. What happened at the Capitol on Wednesday was built on a lie perpetrated by the president and the people who support him. So just on that one, that merit, if you want to call it, it's not comparable. You're right. They're not comparable. There's been far more left-wing violence and a far higher body count over the last six months. The truth is, as soon as somebody says to you, Don, when they are aware of what happened last week, but this summer, as soon as those words come out of their mouth, they do not care about what happened last week. That's true. Because they know everything that you're saying and I'm saying. They get that it's not apples to apples. Yeah. What it is is a reflection of the truth of what is happening in this country, which is there are people who don't care, who don't like what was done, who don't believe the black people are justified, and it's why last week happened, and we can get angry too. Yeah. That's the truth. Well, no, black people nor white people are justified in rioting and hurting innocent people just because they were incited by half the information by propagandists like these two. Remember those mostly peaceful riots in Kenosha? The ones incited by a media who refused to show video of the guy with a knife fighting police. What was the truth? The truth was that he brought it all on himself by attacking police with a knife when he was being lawfully arrested. All those fact checks that insisted he was unarmed? Nope, they were still right in their eyes. All right, that's all my soul can take for one day. Make sure to hit that like button and share this video because I'm pretty sure YouTube is blocking most from being able to see this channel. If you want to support this channel or follow me on other platforms, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.